found a curb alert here. So we're gonna go through these bins and see if we can find anything. candle in there. <laughs> it's interesting looking. It looks like maybe a plug went on it. Plum pudding. Avon. <laughs> it's even a candle. Oh my gosh, this is, you guys, this upsets me. Every time I see stuff like this, there's some of these wedding photos in here. Like, why are they throwing those away? deeper here in a minute. Alright guys, so I decided to sit down and record a video today. Um, I painted my nails yesterday and today is the first time that I decided to put on some makeup and try to look a little presentable. <laughs> I still don't feel like I'm all the way there um but i i wanted to get back here in front of the camera and record a video i didn't really have anything specifically to record um but um obviously like before um you know my father's passing i stopped at a curb alert um and I recorded a little bit there, so I'm gonna like put the footage in this video. Um, it wasn't a whole lot of footage. I was kind of in a hurry that day, and so I didn't have a whole lot of time. I just kind of grabbed and went type of thing. So I figured with this video, I would just kind of share with you the things that I picked up. Um, one of those things <laughs> I did make uh, I think it was my last Facebook post because it's been a while since I posted on my Facebook, but it was uh, one of the things I found was one of my last Facebook postings. Um, so I'm just going to go through everything that um, I picked up from that curb alert. There was a ton of stuff there and I grabbed a lot of clothes and some of the clothes I may try and sell, but for the most part, I took them specifically so I could donate them. Um, there is a um, website that I sometimes um, use to donate my clothes to, as well as like things that I have listed on eBay. Um, clothing wise that you know I having a hard time selling and I just kind of want to clear them out of my inventory to make room for new inventory so I'm going to talk about that um, website towards the end of the video like when I start going through the clothes um I smell fire like someone burning something outside I turned my air conditioner off it's supposed to be like 80 some degrees today but I am so ready for fall and I just want like fresh air in my house I'm tired of just 
breathing, circulated air conditioning air. So I decided to open my window. So I'm probably gonna be like profusely sweating halfway through this video, but at least I got some fresh air. So one thing that I have been noticing when I go to curb alerts and you know go through the things people throw throw away. I find a lot of personal belongings and that really upsets me. I realize that, you know, things happen. Some people may have like bad memories connected to certain people and, you know, no longer have them in their life and don't want them in their life kind of thing, which really upsets me, especially after like, you know, losing family. I mean, you know, I, I just, I just wanna take a minute to encourage everyone if you are, you know, you have a family member who maybe you cut ties with or, you know, you're angry with or you're not on speaking terms right now for whatever reason, if you can find it in your heart to just forgive them for whatever it is, if it's at all possible that you could, you know, try to reconcile with them just because it just it upsets me so much like um to hear when people you know aren't getting along with like family members and stuff like that because you know you just never know when they're not going to be there anymore and it just it breaks my heart to think that you know something happens to them and then you are left with the guilt of not trying to you know mend things or whatever <laughs> none of my business but I'm just saying um I don't want I don't want someone throwing away pictures of you because you know they you might not be on speaking terms right now and I used to tell my mom that like all the time when um her and her sister weren't getting along and they were like not talking or like fighting about something and it was always something so dumb and I would tell my mom, I was like, she's your only sister that's alive right now. I said, you don't want to regret not, you know, speaking with her, not reconciling. I said, as soon as you get off the phone with me, you call her up, you apologize for whatever you need to apologize for. And, you know, just move on with your lives together because you're sisters. And she would listen to me and I feel like, you know, that... I like the fact that, you know, um, I might have helped, you know, those situations by, by telling her that. And I'm going to be completely ramply in this video, you guys, because I just need to talk. I need to talk. I have a very gabby mouth here lately and I need to talk, but this is all leading up to one of the finds that I took from this curb alert, which was this, is it upside down? Yeah. This photo album here. I feel like my lighting is just not good. I'm gonna have to like lighten up my video here. But I found this wedding album. This is a wedding album. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can see the sides here and it's filled, absolutely filled with these beautiful wedding pictures. Um, I'm not quite sure the year that these were, were um, done, but um, someone just threw away their whole beautiful wedding album full of pictures and even if like this is an instance of like divorce or something like that there's still family members in those pictures you know what I mean like it just is so upsetting to me finding these types of things I have no idea what I'm going to do with this um I don't know if this is something people buy like if people buy other family members pictures but I just can't let stuff like this go in the trash like I just can't it's just it hurts my heart too much so I rescued this photo album and like I said I don't really quite know exactly what I'm doing with it considering you know it's none none of my family um but yeah I just I couldn't I couldn't let it let it just be thrown away so I took that 
And then also at that curb alert, I saw this. I saw this old um, photo album, this brown one, and I was like, oh no, don't tell me there's pictures in there. But this is kind of like a scrapbook. I mean, you can put photos in and use like the little corners, like the little photo corners, or you could like glue or tape um, pictures in here. So it doesn't necessarily have to be for photographs. You could use it as like scrapbooking uh, purposes, but it's never been used. And it also has like this folder piece here at the end that you could, I didn't check. Okay. It's empty too. Um, that you can put other things in as well. So I just thought that was really nice. It's really well made. Um, definitely has that vintage look to it since it's older. And I like the fact that it was still new. So I grabbed that. I'm glad there wasn't pictures in that though. Though it would be cool if there had been like, you know, like scrapbooky type stuff in it. Um, but that just gives the next person who owns it a chance to fill it up with stuff. All right, I took a couple plushies, some older plushies. They need to be washed. Um, this is Barney's friend BJ. And he's definitely older, if you guys remember Barney. Um... Is there a date? 1994 is the date on him. He's got his little plastic sneakers on and he does have some marks on him. So I'm going to throw him in the washing machine. With plushies, I, I just pitch mine in the washing machine. Sometimes it ruins them, but you know, when I'm getting them for free or like a quarter, I don't care if like they happen to, to be ruined in the washing machine. Um, but for the most part, they, they come out fine. So um, I also took this one here. This is a little Minnie Mouse and she does different things. So when you're like, you know, learning to do stuff, like she's got this watch on her arm that you can um, buckle, a little tie you can tie, a little zipper here that you can unzipper, Velcro on her shoes and that kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I'm assuming these are all around from the same time period. I would say the 90s. Um, I'm not quite sure though with her. But again, I need to put her in the washing machine and see how she comes out. Some plushies can do well. Um, and I mean, especially if you're getting them for free. So I took this old heating pad. It looks like this. It just this zipper part here, like this whole cloth piece does come off so you can wash it. Um, but it's definitely older, I would say maybe 60s, 70s. Um, and then it has, you know, you plug it in and it has its little like thermo dial here. So I'm going to obviously make sure it works first. Um, and then if it does, I plan on listing that. I do have one of these already that belonged to my mom, so I don't need it, but they do work really well, especially for like cramps and stuff. I took, you'll have to ignore the, the sounds. I took these old, um, these are like little shakers that you would use at like New Year's, um, they're made of tin. They're definitely older. Uh, this one just kind of has like a print on of some music notes and things of that nature. And then this one is just a smiley face. So I don't see any markings on them, but you know, you can definitely tell that they are older. I don't know if they're really worth anything, but you know, it kind of brought me back. Like we used to use those when I was little um, for New Year's. Guys, I honestly can't even remember what all I threw in my bag, so you'll have to bear with me. This is another old toy. Um, this is an old baby rattle, and I think... Okay, it's from 1982, and it says the first years. So this part is like a very sticky, <laughs> it needs washed, <laughs> like piece. So, I mean, the baby could like, you know, 
chew on it if it really wanted to. Um, it kind of gave me like an Alice in Wonderland type vibe though with the, the black and the white and the red with the, the hearts. So again, I don't know if it's worth anything, but I took it. Same with these things because they were so cool. These are like little novelty gag gift type things like you would get in like a gag type store, um, but older. These are by Fun Toys and the date is on here. It says 1969. They are jumbo sunglasses and they had a price of 10 cents on them. And then this one here um, just says crepe hair. And that's still on its card as well. I took this calendar because it made my heart happy. I don't know if people like buy calendars that aren't, you know, in date anymore. But this is like a wall hanging one. And it is from, I think maybe it's broken. Oh no. Um, it is from 1985 and there's like a little kitty cat down there and then if you wanted to you could actually just hang it so the side is facing out and then the calendar isn't even on that side so it wouldn't matter that the calendar is out of date. Do they still make calendars like these? Because I remember these from when I was younger um, but I didn't know if they still made them like that. I took this baby bath toy bag and it has these cute little octopus um, pieces on there that like help hang it onto to the bathtub. This is from Babies Are Us from 2002. It is new. I didn't look any of this stuff up so I don't really know if it's worth much but if not I'll just donate the stuff so it's no big deal. When I'm taking stuff for free like, even if it's not anything that, like, I'm going to do anything with, I will re-donate it. Guys, I took some older VHS tapes, and I don't see them in my bag. I'm not sure where they are. So, um, when I find them, I'll have to just put them in another, uh, video. I took these plates here. These are a stack of these really pretty, um, plastic plates. These are by Melmac by Ken Kenro. Uh, my grandparents actually had a lot of these plates um, when I was younger growing up. Um, my grandma and grandpa always made Sunday dinners and they had Melmac plates so these just reminded me of them. So I took this stack of them. These are white ones and then I took this stack of these really pretty um, teal ones. These are just saucers um, but also by Melmac. Again, I don't know if they're worth anything, but it just reminded me of my grandparents, so I took them. Um, I took this pack of stickers, these Valentine's stickers. Um, I'll use these on like my packages and stuff um, come February. I think they're all the same. Yeah, there's only like two sheets on there. And they're both the same sheet. So I took those. This was a weird thing to take, but I took this old tin of um, nutmeg. It's There's still nutmeg inside of here. Um, I have a friend package that I need to send out. I've had it for a while and I'm still gathering things for it. Um, and I know she likes to decorate with um, things like this, uh, especially around like the holidays because they are like not only Christmas colors, but nutmeg would be a spice that you would use um, baking wise around Christmas. Yeah, if I find the VHS tapes, I'll share with you what they are in this video, but if not, it'll be some other time. <laughs> so I think the rest of this stuff is mainly clothes, unless um, there was anything that I threw in this big old box of clothes <laughs> that I took. So I'm gonna go through all of them. It's probably gonna take a while because it is a lot of clothes. Um, like I said, some of them I may try to resell, other ones I am going to be donating. And the website that I donate my clothes to, they take um, children's clothes, they take women's clothes, 
they take men's clothes, men's clothes that are more along like teenager, um, teenager size, but I do think that they have like regular men's size. Um, they take men's, women's, kids' shoes, um, and also women's accessories like purses, scarves, um, leggings, and that kind of thing. But that's all that they'll take. Um, no kind of like household, go household goods, no books, no nothing like that. Just pretty much clothes, shoes, and some accessories, but no jewelry <laughs> or sunglasses or anything like that. It'll say on their uh, website what all they take. Um, but anyway, the website is schoola.com. I will put the link to the website um, down in my description box. Um, essentially, everything, everything that you donate, you can just send it in or you can specify which school you want to get the money. So it's called Schoola because the money that um, you make, they well, they make off of the stuff that you send in, you can have it, uh, the money sent to the school of your choice. So whether that's like a school that your children attend, a school that you attended, or, you know, just a school in your town, anything like that, you can choose where you want that part of the money to go to. So it's like actually helping your community school. Um, you don't have to specify a school. If there's no school that you don't really care what school it goes to, then, you know, it'll be um, put either, I don't know if they choose a school or if they have their own kind of like um, organization type thing where the money goes to help school children. Um, so that, that's why I like sending my stuff there. Um, as far as thrift stores go, um, you know, some thrift stores, you know, the money may go back into the community or into a church or what have you, but then some thrift stores, it's just, you know, going to wherever, like who knows exactly where it's going. Like with this stuff here, it's like you, you know, you feel good about the stuff that you're sending because you know, some of that money is going to go back to that school. And it tells you how much money has gone to that school, um, you know, since they they started the website, essentially. It's been around for a while. Um, I've actually purchased stuff off there before for myself. So, you know, it's, it's fun to actually do some shopping there. The stuff is um, fairly reasonably priced. Some stuff super duper cheap and other stuff, you know, on the higher, higher end side, but not crazy. Um, so yeah, I really, I really like it. Um, as far as sending the stuff in, basically, uh, they used to just send you like a bag with like an address label already on it that was paid for. But, um, here lately, basically you just send in your package. Um, you print out a label and you don't have to pay anything to ship it to them. They pay on their end once they get it. They pay the cost that it costs to send it out. So it's like a prepaid shipping label type of thing. So you don't pay anything to ship your stuff. You just throw it in a box, tape it up, and um, tape your the shipping label to it, and you're good to go. Um, so I will leave a link to their website down in my description box. So some of this stuff I'm probably just going to send straight there and then other stuff depending on what it is I might list it I haven't decided yet I don't even remember what all I took I was just grabbing it because I knew even if I didn't keep it I was going to donate it so um let's see the first thing was this men's dress shirt it says it's from QVC by a company called D and C O. I'm assuming it's a men's, maybe it's a women's, I'm not entirely sure. But it was still in its plastic wrap, so I took that. This was a pair of pants by a company called Viskin. These are men's. Viskin. I've never heard of it before. What size are they? They're a size 30. So, I took them. I dropped something. 
I'll try to go through the clothes as fast as I possibly can. This is by Garage. Size extra small, which is sometimes hard for me to sell, so I'll probably donate that. Um, this was a pair of New Balance uh, workout pants. Just look like that. This was by Alfani. Just a little gray zip up. This is a men's button down by a company called Vert. It is a 2XL short sleeved button down. A dress by Old Navy. Striped. This is a Lauren Conrad white denim vest. This little top is by Noli. It's a little floral. Looks like a crop top. This is a little velour tank top by Silkland. This is a gorgeous color for fall. These are some corduroy stretch pants by Land's End. They're called the Sport Knit Tapered Leg. And they look like that. I got a lot of clothes. I couldn't believe they were just throwing all these clothes away. Um, this is also by Noli or Nolly. There was a lot of stuff by this company, that DNCO, which um, that one top had a QVC tag on. So I don't know if that's a um, a brand that sold on QVC or not. This is by Sonoma, just a men's button-down flannel. This is also by DNCO. The blue button down. Guys, I found the VHS tapes, so we're gonna take a take a quick minute, a pause in the clothes to show you the VHS tapes I took. There's a lot of Disney VHS tapes. I only took a couple. Um, I don't know if these are worth anything, but I thought they were slightly more obscure than, you know, what I typically see as far as VHS tapes go. Uh, so the first one's called Kiki's Delivery Service. I've never seen this before. Um, it looks really, really cute though. So I took that one. I took this Alice in Wonderland one and it's kind of like a live action version. So I've never seen that one either. Um, so I might have to, I don't think I have a VHS player now that I think about it. I wonder if they're on Disney Plus. I do have Disney Plus. Maybe they're on there. Um, I also took The Wind in the Willows. And then the only other VHS tape I took was called Iron Eagle 2. I just thought it looked interesting and it was definitely older. So, um, sometimes... V VHS, like people still buy VHS, so I don't know. I'll have to look them up and see if they're worth anything. Okay, back onto the clothing. We got this dress here by Gap. Just looks like this. This is a little button down by So. This is a top by Delia's. Fun fact, I used to work there. Uh, this is a dress by American Rag. This is by Mine, M-I-N-E, little blue dress. Little romper by O.P. This little sweater by a company called Absolutely. Gray tank top is exhilaration. Our Hollister sweatpants. Naked Zebra is the brand of this tank top. This is by Japna Kids. This is really cute. This little romper dress. A full tilt top with some lace detailing at the bottom. This dress is by Max Studio. This is by Old Navy. <laughs> There's so 
many clothes, you guys. Okay, this tank top is by Aeropostale. So, Skula is going to have a heyday with all of these clothes. Um, this is just an old scarf that I took. I don't think I saw a um, tag on it. Looks like a ponytail scarf almost. Um, this is by Aeropostale. Just a little plaid button down. This is by Gap. Just a little hoodie, green hoodie. This was another scarf, very similar to the other one, just a different print. This little cardigan is by Hollister. This sweater is by Jack Jones. This is Gap. This is Old Navy. Victoria's Secret um, little, you know, yoga pants. There is, I think, some staining there on the back waistband. I don't think that's part of the actual print. So, if I can't get that out with Shout, I'm probably just going to throw those away. This is a little Under Armour um, cap. I don't know. I think they call these skull caps, maybe. I don't think that's for swimming, but I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, this is actually by Minnie Bowden, this little tank top. It's really cute. Um, these are by Sofi. Oh, you hear that? The elastic in these are no good, so I'm going to have to throw those away. The elastic in them rotted. This is by Log, L-O-G-G. -G. Does anyone know where that brand came from? I have, um... From the uh, storage unit that we won, I have a couple shirts by that brand that I got from um, the storage unit that we won, and I don't know where that originally came from. Log. Um, these are Nike Dry Fit. The elastic in them seem okay. These are by Justice. That elastic seems fine. Um, this little skirt is from Aeropostale. And then this tank top is from Hollister. So that is all the clothes. There's a ton of clothes. So I'm going to go through everything, make sure there's no holes or stains on anything, um, then wash everything, and then kind of divide up my pile of anything I'm going to keep to try and sell and then everything else is going to go to Skula. So um, there is a couple other things that I got from a free pile a while back that I never showed. So I'm going to throw them in this video as well. This is going to be a long video. This was like literal like months ago kind of thing. Um, I just had randomly seen it advertised on Facebook while Eric and I were out so I made him go and stop um so when I pulled up there wasn't a whole lot at the curb and I was like oh someone must have already been here and like um you know took a bunch of stuff but um as I was like starting to look through everything the lady came out and opened up her garage and she was like oh I got more stuff in here I just didn't want to like throw it all out there and then no one come and like pick it up and I just have to like bring it back into the garage so she opened up her garage and I looked around I didn't take a whole lot of stuff um I did take a Disney cookbook that I gave to my aunt to give to um her grandkids so um I don't have that to show you but I did I took I took this cornucopia <laughs> I thought it was really cute. Just this little woven um, cornucopia. I have this really big, this really large one that Eric and I got at Hobby Lobby that I put out every Thanksgiving. Like I sit it in the center of my, my dining room table and it's just like stuffed with, um, you know, these, these pretty um, fake flowers and like gourds and like, you know, fake gourds and stuff like that. But this is just like a real little small one. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna do with it but I thought it was really cute um I took this swan because I thought it was so pretty it needs cleaned out um just this like crystal glass 
Swan. It is marked Shannon. Shannon Crystal Designs of Ireland on the bottom. So you could probably stick like a candle or something in there if you wanted to or just whatever. It needs cleaned. It'll look so much prettier once, you know, it's not all fogged up. But something that like I was like super duper 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 excited about was I took these wax tarts and they are used but I don't care because there's still wax tarts in them. Um, these are actually from the Magic Candle Company and I have some wax tarts from them that I ordered actually on eBay. Um, but they're all fragrances that are reminiscent of like um, Disney, Disney World and stuff like that. And the ones that I have smell so freaking good. They're so strong and they burn so well in my um, wax warmer. So I took the four that she had um, and little known fact, I've never been to Disney World before. It's something that I've always wanted to do. I don't know if I will ever, ever get there. I hope that I do one day. Um, but in the meantime, I just kind of like burn things and buy things and I like watch videos. I follow like this um, Disney page on Facebook that's always like posting up pictures of like the food and stuff that you can get there. And it's a dream of mine. So the um, candle wax tarts that I took from her. This one's called Little Old Christmas Shop. So I'm assuming there's a Christmas shop called that in Disney World and this is what it smells like inside. Which smells so so good. Uh, it's quite a mess inside of these. Um, but it oh oh goodness I cannot wait to burn that at Christmas time. Um, this one is called Pumpkin King. So this will be perfect for next month. I'm trying to hold out until October to start burning my fall scents since it still feels like summer outside. Oh, but that smells so good. Very spicy pumpkin. Um, this one is called Bakery. And very, very sweet cakey smell to that. There's like three more cubes left. And then this one is called The Gray Stuff. And um, from reading <laughs> uh, the Facebook uh, page that I follow, um, there is a cupcake you can get at um, one of the restaurants, the Beauty and the Beast themed restaurant there. Um, and it's called The Gray Stuff because the, the icing, you know, is gray and everything like that. Um, I hear that they're cupcakes are hit or miss. Like some people say they're just too or really sweet. I'd like to be the deciding factor on that. I like my cupcake sweet. So there's only two cubes left in that, but it smells really good. It's just like a very, very sweet kind of um, cupcakey, just bakery type smell to that. So that is everything for this video. Um, Definitely took a while, I feel like, but it was nice to sit down and just kind of talk. Um, I have a lot to do here with like all like going through all these clothes and everything, so that'll keep me busy for a little while. Um, I got to go in and feed um, Dad's cat here soon, um, so I still haven't found a someone to take him yet. Um, I wish that I could. I really wish that I could. I can't though. Um, Eric is allergic to cats, um, but it's mainly the fact that I have a senior dog. Um, she is old. She is actually having some issues with her eye right now. Um, we are going to take her to an ophthalmologist in Maryland September 24th, I think our appointment is. She has, um, like a cyst on her eye. And we got to get that taken care of. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if they're going to want to like take her eyeball out. I am like scared to death of this appointment. So um, like it's just not feasible for me to bring in another animal, let alone a cat into, you know, her house essentially. I mean, this has always just been her house. Um, 
ever since she started living with us. So to bring to bring another animal into the mix at her age and with her issues and stuff like that, I just, I can't, I can't do it. I wish that I could and I was really wishing that a family member um, would be able to take my dad's cat, but so far I still haven't had any luck. I emailed, um, I, I need to email another rescue, but I did email um, one of them that I thought for sure might be able to help me. And I even told them like in the email, like if you can't help me, could you please give me like some names of other resources that I could use to like get, you know, this cat at home and they never email me back. So, um, I, I don't, I don't really know quite yet, like what's going to happen with the cat. Um, but it's, that's another thing that I've just been like constantly worrying about because I want to make sure he goes somewhere where he's going to be okay. Like I don't want him just going to any animal rescue and then, you know, them like euthanizing him or something. You know what I mean? Like I don't just trust everyone, you know? So I was really hoping that um, he could go to a family member, but I'm just I'm having a hard time finding someone to take him. Um, so that's just one thing I'm like really like stressing out about here lately. Um, but yeah, that's, that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like sometimes when I'm making these videos, like, I just feel like they're probably so boring and I'm thinking like, who really wants to watch me haul these things? And I just get like really down on myself and like question question why I'm even filming kind of thing like I don't know my brain is just 100 miles an hour like constantly and it's usually always like negative things right now like I need to start like positive 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 bringing in the flow of positivity so we're getting there I'm trying I'm trying to get there but anyway that's my video I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I didn't bore you. <laughs> and I will see you next time.